But the OECD has just published its latest economic outlook. It says Europe is falling further behind the rest of the developed world. Olivia Stearns has been speaking with the chief economist. Olivia, what did he have to say? Well, we spoke a lot about this issue of decoupling. He said while the recovery in Europe remains fragile, he has increasingly seen signs that the fundamentals in the U.S. are continuing to firm. In terms of unfinished business in the euro area, I would say that there are a number of, uh, of things. The firewall still needs to be further strengthened. The banking sector needs to be re recapitalized while allowing for lending to grow. And of course, there is the need to boost growth and make it more balanced in Europe through uh, structural reforms uh, throughout, not just in, in uh, sensitive countries, but also in strong countries such as Germany. I know, Mary, he did say, though, that while the recovery remains fragile, things do look much better today than they did two months ago at the start of the year. Okay, so a little bit of a, a mixed analysis there, if you like, but nevertheless, it's a difficult situation in Europe, and things could deteriorate even further uh, over the next year. So is there anything that can be done to essentially put the recovery on a firmer footing? Yes, it's a good question. He said, we're out of the woods, what, we're not back, or, and we are back, uh, excuse me, we're off the edge of the cliff, we are not out of the woods, those were his words. So I asked him what more remains to be done. In the U.S., confidence of households and, and companies is stronger. Credit conditions are also a bit stronger. And the deleveraging process of households is well underway, although it's not over yet. Uh, also, employment uh, perspectives in the U.S. are improving. Now, there is a, a different picture in the euro area where confidence is still weak. Uh, credit conditions are actually weakening themselves, and unemployment remains very high. And, you know, we finished by talking about the big picture. Of course, we're several years now into the European debt crisis. We fill a lot of air talking about what could be done, what should be done to solve the European debt crisis. But there's a big difference between that and things actually happening. So I asked him how confident he actually is that we're going to see a resolution. Over the past uh, two years, European leaders have made significant steps forward in redesigning and strengthening the euro area architecture and providing the euro area with ammunition. Uh, a little more needs to be done. Uh, everyone knows what needs to be done, and I'm confident that uh, this uh, will be achieved so that markets are not disappointed as they had been, uh, say, a number of times last year. All right, so Pierre Carlo Padoan, mm. quite hopeful going into that Copenhagen meeting. He really thinks policy leaders need to use this bit of reprieve we're seeing in the markets and kind of strike while the iron is hot, get a solution. Yeah. Right now. Conflicting views, though, I guess, on whether the architecture and the ammunition, as he put it, is actually being strengthened. But Olivia Stern, thanks very much for bringing us that interview. The OECD's chief economist, Pierre Carlo Padoan.